Our question says to look at figure 9-67, which shows block 1, which I write has a mass of M1, which is equal to 2 times the mass of block 2. Um, and these are sliding on a frictionless ramp, which has a height of 2.50 meters. And block 1 collides with block 2. After the collision, block 2 slides into a region where the coefficient of kinetic friction, mu k, is equal to 0 0.500 and comes to a stop at a distance d within the region. What is the value of the distance d if the collision is both treated as a elastic and b completely inelastic? So we're going to use um, the equation for the value of calculating v2 if this is um, first for part a considered to be an elastic collision. Right? Yep. Okay. So this is going to be equal to 2 times m1 divided by m1 plus m2. Okay, well, plug in the, and then, the, and then that ratio is multiplied by the initial value of block 1. So this is equal to 2 times m1 divided by 3 times m1 times v1i, right, which is equal to uh, 2 thirds, and then we're going to plug in the value of v based upon it being due to gravity, which is the square root of 2 times g times h, the height, okay? Well, now we can use conservation of energy, which is 1 half m2 v2 squared is equal to all the energy that's lost to heat, which is the force of the, of the uh, heat loss from the friction. So F sub k times the distance, which is what we're asked to find, which is equal to mu k times m2 times gravity times the distance, okay? So M2's cancel. Solve for D. D is equal to 1 half V2 squared divided by V2 divided by mu K times gravity. Well, we just uh, solved for V2, so we can plug in the value for V2. So 2 thirds squared is 4 ninths, okay? Well, 4 ninths times 1 half is 2 ninths, so we're going to have 2 ninths. And then root 2gh is going to be 2gh, if we square that, okay? Divided by mu k times g. Gravity cancels. Plug in the values for everything else in that expression that we had, and this comes out to be 2.22 meters. Okay. Well, now let's treat it inelastically. So V2 is what's going to change here. It's going to be equal to M1 divided by M1 plus M2. Times V1I. So this is going to be equal to one third times root two GH. So now if we plug one third into that expression, so this is going to be D is equal to, if you look back over here, it was one half V squared over mu sub K times G. So now if we square V, that's going to be one ninth. So one ninth times one half is one eighteenth. 2gh over mu sub k g. Once again, the g's cancel. Plug in the value of h into this expression, and it's one fourth that of the one we just found. So it's 0 0.556 meters for part b. We can box it in as our solution.